Nintendo hardware? I'm gonna tell you why it don't even matter. This new Nintendo Switch hardware, you already know, bro. Give it a thumbs up, bro. Come on, bro. I'm about to hit you with that heat, bro. All right, bro. I already told y'all. I did a live tour of the Nintendo Switch update 10.0. And I said overall it's pretty lame. Button mapping, don't really care too much. But <coughs> there's more than meets the eye. According to tech expert Mike Heskin, the 10.0 firmware update added preliminary support for a new model of the Nintendo Switch codenamed code NXABCD. And here's the stickler. This new hardware supports a second screen like the 3DS. Now, when I read it, I was a little lukewarm on it, just to be honest, just like, hey, we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about Nintendo this video, boy. First, one of the problems with the 3DS and the power is, the 3DS was a more powerful console than we were seeing. The issue is, the processing power was split between two screens, and so, because Nintendo wanted the dual screen gimmick, it reduced the quality of the games. It is what it is. And so, new Nintendo Switch hardware. And at this point, I really don't care. Let me take you guys back. You see, the I got a lot of young sub subscribers. So y'all probably ain't even gonna understand, understand where I'm coming from. But I'm talking to the old heads right now. Bro, the Taris. I realized something with Nintendo. <laughs> I've been tricked. I've been bamboozled, bro. I've been tricking myself into thinking graphics don't matter, bro. That's what Nintendo fans, we've been telling ourselves because our hardware has been so underpowered since the Wii. We've been saying graphics don't matter. We've been saying that since the Wii days. But I just realized and just rethinking of my history with Nintendo, I've gravitated to Nintendo because of the power because of their graphics bro what is this monstrosity that y'all see on the screen right now <laughs> the first console i had this is gameplay for atari 7800 that's right it looks like shit trash i had an atari 7800 that's what my parents bought me as a little kid my very first console and I loved it. I was like, whoa, pole position is off the chain, bro. Joust is off the chain, bro. My dad used to bring home bags of Atari 2600 games because they were back backwards compatible. I didn't know where he got them from, <laughs> but they were all used and old. I guess they were, they were just because um, they were just selling them away. The whole video game crash. But, bro, we loved it, bro. We're like, whoa, this is fire. Until our Puerto Rican neighbors across the street had a Nintendo. I was like, what? 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 Are, there's dungeons in games? There's open worlds in games? Bro, my mind was blown, bro. I told the story before, but this is different. I'm, this is the point with this. The games looked so much better on the NES. I mean, way better. Like this mega, this Mario side scrolling blew it away. And I was hooked because of how the game looked. Hooked on the look. Oh, that's a new Obi-Wan phrase. I'm, I'm trademarking that. I was hooked on the look. 
the games looked good. I just realized it. that's why I really gravitated to Nintendo because of how the games looked. I was like, this looks amazing. I was hooked on the look. And then Genesis, they came out with Sonic. And I have to say, <laughs> I was hooked on the look. I wanted a Sega Genesis. And sure enough, uh, Paris bought me. I had a Sega Genesis. A Sonic was fire, bro. And um, Sega Genesis, straight fire. Altered Beast, the game was trash, but it looked so amazing. I was hooked on the look. This isn't something new. I just realized this. I was making fun of Realistic Rocks when the Realistic Rocks was what got me on the NES. As a kid, this was Realistic Rocks. I was like, whoa. When the Sega Genesis came out, it was fire, bro. I remember I had that fighting game. And then Nintendo's like, oh, oh, that's how y'all doing this, Sega? Y'all were playing with power. It's time to play with super power, boy. And then the Super Nintendo came out. The Super Nintendo games. Whenever there was a multi-platform release, the Super Nintendo games, for the most part, generally speaking, looked better than the Sega Genesis. I was hooked on the look. The games played good too. The gameplay was lit. Don't get me wrong. Gameplay. That's without saying. But the Super Nintendo, it looked amazing. The Nintendo 64, bro. This is why, and again, why the young kids, y'all don't get my frustration. Nintendo went for power. I know this is foreign to some of y'all that started gaming in the 3D era. But Nintendo went for power. Nintendo 64. They put the specs of the hardware in the title of the name. Did y'all get what I just said? We talk, that's like right now. Xbox talk calling the next Xbox, the Xbox 12. 12 teraflop. Xbox 12, that's what they should call the console. The Xbox 12. To emphasize the 12 teraflops. That's what Nintendo was doing with the Nintendo 64. To emphasize, Sony had a 32-bit machine. We had a 64, the Nintendo 64. And I was hooked on the look. GameCube. The last great Nintendo console. In my game room, if y'all go and go and Google or go and we could Google or YouTube Obi Wan Game Room Tour after this video. I'm going somewhere with this. After this video, go and Google my game room tour. On my wall, I have one, two, three, four Nintendo home consoles. I have the NES, the Super Nintendo, the Nintendo 64, and the GameCube. The only Nintendo consoles that matter, bro. Home consoles. The Switch is a handheld. <laughs> it is. It is. I came to that realization. Nintendo got us. We got bamboozled. It's a handheld. I could connect to your TV. <laughs> but this was the last generation Nintendo had a powerful, I mean, going toe for toe power with Microsoft and Sony. After the GameCube, we got the Wii. And it was the Wii generation where for the first time ever, this was game, game changing for me. For the first time ever, a Nintendo console was not my primary gaming console. The Xbox 360, this is when I really was playing on my Xbox. Xbox 360 was my primary console during the Wii era. Brings me to the Switch. This right here is Wolfenstein running on the Switch. It looks dope on the small screen on my TV. And this is what this is almost like 
my breaking point with the third with the third party games. I was like, okay, I am never buying getting another third party game on my Switch. You put Wolfenstein 2 on a TV. The game looks like garbage. And it runs <laughs> like garbage. I was done. I said I am not getting any more third party games on my Switch. Right now my Switch is going to be a first party machine. I got Animal Crossing and then the next four or five months when Nintendo decides to re release another first party game I'd pick that up too. I'm not hyped for Mario 3D World coming to the Switch. I know a lot of dudes are. I beat this game to death on my Wii U, bro. This year, for the Switch, we got Animal Crossing and the rumored Mario 3D games. I'm not real hyped for the Mario 3D games because I've beaten all of them, bro. All of them, bro. Y'all remember when Nintendo had the best 2D platforming games? They don't even have that anymore, bro. I remember playing New Super Mario U on my Wii U, bro. That's why I, I didn't even buy this game on my Switch, because I already got this game. I was like, man, this game is pretty dope, bro. And then I played Rayman Legends on my Wii U. And I came to the realization, Nintendo has fallen behind on their bread and butter 3D games. This generation, bro. New Super Mario U? Or even Yoshi Craft the World, dope game. Doesn't hold a candle. To Ori, Will of the Wisps. The Nintendo 2D games don't hold a candle to Cuphead right now. All I'm waiting for is for Microsoft to release a brand new 3D banjo game. And it's going to take Mario's lunch money in the 3D realm. They did it before on the six Nintendo 64. Mario 64, groundbreaking, bro. Dope game. Don't, don't even misquote me on this. Obi-Wan said Mario 64 is trash. No, great game. But to Rare's credit, they copied what Nintendo did with Mario 64 and improved on it in every way. Just from an objective standpoint, Banjo-Kazooie, more textures, more um, higher polygon count than Mario 64, and, and more features. It was just a better 3D game. More moves with the Banjo-Kazooie combination. Just a better game. Don't do nuts and bolts again, Microsoft. Give us just a, a true 3D banjo game and I'd be lit, bro. Now, why am I lukewarm? Back to, I did all that to say, why am I lukewarm on the new Nintendo hardware? I realized what hooked me Ninten on Nintendo from the beginning was the look. I was hooked on the look. Nintendo always had the best looking games and that's what initially caused me to gravitate to Nintendo hardware this is why I appreciate Xbox right now their emphasis is we're gonna give y'all the best looking games and I know dudes I already know what you guys are typing and eh, go and play your hardware everyone bro They've already impressed me. They've invested in 15 new first party studios for next generation. I'm ready to see the games. The games, the games. That's what I'm ready to see. But I'm excited because we're gonna have good looking games. And so, that was my soapbox for this video. Nintendo is releasing new hardware. And I could care less <laughs> if they do the same thing they've been doing for the last... When did the week come out, bro? 2006? For 14 years now, bro. Just step back and think about this. For 14 years, Nintendo has been a generation behind. That's why, okay, Nintendo comes out with the new hardware, bro. It's on par with the Xbox One, bro, and the PlayStation 4, bro. What happens when developers start optimizing their games at 4K? We're going to get another 
Wolfenstein experience, bro. We're gonna have games that run like trash on this new Nintendo hardware. Alright, dudes, I'm done. Sound off in the comment section below. I wanna know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. Oh, thanks, gaming, bro. We out. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Peace.